What is the nuclear family and why is it so important for civilization? Well, the nuclear family really is the Christian family, the family that is uh, derived from the teachings of the Holy Bible. One man, one woman who are freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life, living in one home together and they exist together. They procreate together and they have children together. And because of that, it creates a civilization in that one nucleus, in that one homestead. There, they're able to create this civilization, which makes it easier for each one of the members of the family when they go out into the world to be civil. So they work together and they they uh, learn together. They criticize one another and they forgive one another. They help one another. And so together they create this. You realize when you're in a family, you got to act like you got some sense or it's hard to keep a family going. You know what I mean. And many families have fallen apart because people were so self-centered and they were so unwilling to forgive or to adjust their own attitudes. But those families who say, I love you for the rest of my life. I'm staying with you for the rest of my life. They go through a schooling their whole life. They're being schooled. That husband is being schooled by the wife and the wife by the husband and the children by the parents and the parents by the children because it creates this uh, emotional atmosphere, this, this civil atmosphere. Uh, it creates a sense of security. It creates a bond. It creates a, a ownership. You know, what is the ownership? It means that I am a part of this family. I own our relationship, our civilization. And so what happens is through the difficult times with family, we grow wiser. We grow more considerate. We're able to get in behind the eyes of the other person in the family. And then when we leave that family to go to work or play or wherever we go, we're able to go out into the world with some sense of civility and we're able to get along one with another. But you have a family to where it breaks up then it causes, it causes all kinds of conflict inside of the people that are in that family. My dad left when I was a little kid. And to, to go back and rehash to you all the troubles that it caused in my life, I was thankful. I had a very good mom, and uh, we had a good family. But there was difficult times for us. But the point is, when you have a man and a woman who are raising the family, first of all, you've got the two genders that's involved in raising the children, which is so super valuable because the, the lady brings to the family certain aspects that only ladies can bring, and men are bringing aspects that only men can bring. Men provide a role model for the boys, and men provide a example of what a husband should be like, what a future date should be like, for the girls. And the woman provides that compassion and that role model for the boys and the girls. It's all the same. But the point is, is you have the whole scenario there uh, for the family. And as they grow together, they grow together in, with a sense of uh, you have responsibility, you have accountability, you have a desire to please one another and to get along. And whenever those desires are not there, you have immediate payment that says, I was wrong. And you have the whole conflict in the family, and it's in that house that we work through these things together. It causes each individual, including the father, including the mother, including the children, it causes a sense of, of selflessness, a, a desire to care for the other person. You have to to be able to survive together. And whenever you destroy the family, the nuclear family, when you destroy the biblical family, you know what you do? You're, de you're destroying the fabric of our society, the fabric of our civilization. And so we need to go back to the Bible and say, God, what is real family? And we need to, we need to put the blinders on us of what this the silly ways of this world are and say, what is God saying about the family? How shall we live? The truth of the matter is, we are so brainwashed by the culture around us that tells us it can be this, it can be that, you can do it this way or that way. And we need to look at, God, what is your perfect design for the family? And I'll tell you one big hint. The very first thing is the family, the perfect design, it starts with love. It starts with loving each other as we would love ourselves. God said, love the Lord thy God with all the heart, with all the mind, with all the soul, and with all the strength. And then love your neighbor as yourself. And your closest neighbor is 
your family members. And so you practice that love within the family and it makes you a better person. It makes your family a better part of civilization. It makes you able to deal with people outside of your family, uh, uh, gathering your family bond there. And so I wanna encourage you all, uh, make a point to make your family the very best. You wanna change the world, change yourself, that you might change your family, that your family might help change the world. Come on, y'all, let's follow Jesus.